Hey guys, what's up? It's Blender 3D Animator here. This is my 10th tutorial, part 2, on creating my galaxy effect using the particle system. And um, let's just show you another preview of this real quick. It's going to lag because it's the first time I'm going through it in a little while. So just bear with it. I'll show you a bit preview just so if you forget what we're working with. And you probably have it on your computer, so who cares? Let's get started. So you want to know how to add color, right? Ding, ding, ding. Go down here and add new material. Um, under render pipeline, select Halo, and your preview will become little particles. Over here, if you go out of your this tab and go into shaders, <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I really apologize. Um, halo size is the size of the original particle. I prefer mine to be really small. Um, I like the hardness high. And the add I like down. Hardness, um, kind of how thick everything is. So I like it thin. Uh, add kind of blend stuff together halo size to side um, over here we have rings, lines, stars, and seed I know everything except for seed um, rings, lines, and stars are for when you render each particle is going to have that like that many rings in it, that many lines, and that many stars so over here you can select which ones you want I prefer to only render the lines and to have very few of them, like six. So if we increase a couple of frames here, and we render this, and see you have these little stars and stuff, let's advance a couple of frames so we get a better view. Sure, let's go with that. I can see these little they look kind of like little stars. They're actually not. They're a bunch of lines. That's the effect that I like best. So every particle looks pretty much separate. Um, you can render the stars and the rings. And then if you go up here and render. It's a bit more blurry. Uh, has a lot more effects in it. Um, as you can see. I can zoom in for you a bit this one it's more blurred you don't have a more of a like a solid line effect so you can see some of the lines right there you don't have as much of a solid effect let's close that so I'm just gonna take my rings and star away now over here we have the halo color the line and the ring color don't need to worry, worry about ring because I don't have ring selected so let's start with our halo let's make it a dark red and render the frame to exactly explain what the halo is. So if we zoom in, it's kind of like the glow or the original particle which is kind of surrounding everything. Now if we go to the line here, we can definitely show the example if we make this, I don't know, blue. Render current frame. Now, now it's thick. You can see the difference between the lines and the and the halo. So if we go out of that and we increase the halo size a bit to make it a little more easy to see, we re-render that frame. Now you can get a little bit of a better example. Um, I'll show you what it looks like with a very high halo size. Now that gives you a good example. The halo is more like the original particle with the glow, and then the lines you can see sticking out of every single particle. Like that one has a couple lines going through it, and, you know, it actually pretty much randomizes through each particle. Randomly generated. You can't find any two that look pretty much the same. So we can get out of that. Uh, hold on a second. It's not refreshing. Um, if it stops responding, that's pretty much all you have to know. Blender just closed on me. So, I must have somehow double clicked apparently. Um, but that's all you really needed to know for part two. Just experiment with that and I can see you guys later.